remember a lot of the auditions I do is either via Zoom. Um, a lot of the projects I do is in New York or Philadelphia or DC. In the DMV and Tri State area, DMV does not mean Delaware for my St. Louis Midwest people. It is that is Washington DC, Maryland, and Virginia. That's DMV. Tri State is Philly, Jersey, New York with a gonna splash Delaware all up in there. So I'm in a central hub to reach all these different arms and the furthest I've driven is about two and a half hours which is what I'm gonna do now. By the grace of God, the drives are different. 95 South going towards Maryland and DC is a scenic route. It's more suburban, urban, halls. Going to New York, once you hit this turnpike, it's just straight turnpike. Highways, yeah, people driving fast and crazy. But it's just a straight road. So when I come, I, I don't mind driving up. It's driving back that irks me. Because you're driving straight on a turn, two-lane turnpike. And that's irking. So I don't normally drive by myself. Uh, not that I have a driver, but I do. But um, I, I've done it by myself all, a lot of times. It's just not a preferred way to travel for you, girl. But I'm going to take my time today. This is the middle of the day. Class is from 1 to 5, so that's a very decent time. I'll get back at dusk. Is it dusk or is it dawn? I don't know. But I'll get back at a fairly decent hour. And um, it's not like rush hour or nothing like that. But everything's rush hour in, in New York. But anyway, so I'll, I'll have enough time to just chill. So I had to leave my canine babies today. And for you dog owners, you know how that goes. We got to find babysitters just like we got to find babysitters for our kids. It's the same way with dogs, child. So they could do about four or five pushing it six hours in her cage without messing. But you want to kind of get them some water if you can. Somebody stop by or whatever. And that's what I do. When I go places, I have things on people on rotation. But sometimes it doesn't always pan out that way. So you have to be prepared. So I, I was up with my dogs for like three hours before I'm leaving. You know, just make myself some coffee, letting them run out back, play with each other, and so forth and so on. So they can stretch their legs from being in a cage overnight and then give them their vitamins and their allergy medicine, which makes them go to sleep. And their nap time is like 12 or 1. So, yeah, that's pretty decent. Good God, I'm red. Jesus. But you get dressed in a zone. You put your makeup on in a doctor? I'm looking real peachy. Shy, we don't do peachy. There's supposed to be a light dust. Child, I didn't. Child. Child. I'm red, but not that red. Child. So, yeah, I just got my first turnpike ticket. You know, it costs about damn near 40 going up and 40 coming back. So it gotta be worth it. That's part of the investment. Um, that's any time you go up to New York. The tolls is crazy. Unless you take back roads, which I ain't got time for. I, I, I don't like me on doing no back roads unless I'm definitely rocking with somebody. Or I'm rocking with that dang thing. But I ain't got one. Me, 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 me. But yeah, I would have caught a bus and that's really cool. You get, I could have went to the University of Delaware and then got on the go, the go, the double decker, nice little bus, and they would have drove. But you know, sometimes I don't be liking the way people be driving, and I be like, uh uh, I'm gonna put my life in God's hands and my own ability. But it, it really is simple, cut and dry. The only thing I don't like is getting off at the bus terminal in New York. Like, I, I ain't really have a problem or a long layover or anything the last time I caught the bus. Because my, my boy was there. Like, he swooped in and picked me up. It was just getting confusing 
trying to tell somebody which block you was at and then I'm walking and he said come this way and you go this way and yeah, I don't know but anyway like I don't like um, I, I don't particularly care for New York I've been on the East Coast for 31 years from Midwest and when we were in the Midwest we always always was like um, oh I would love to go to New York that's like the biggest hype is to go to New York and it's an amazing place to be. It's a, uh, it's definitely a world of its own. But I'm just like, it's too much. It's too many. I ain't never seen a place with that many people with them little bitty houses. I ain't never seen something just squished together like that. And it's a million trillion people in it coming out of every alleyway, every hole, every door. This big got a whole house behind. Like, it's just weird. I'm just used to space. So. That's probably my only gripe. The food is amazing. The clubs are amazing. The entertainment is amazing. Some of the people I meet are amazing. The cab drivers are rude as hell. Um, yeah. So I feel a little better today. Uh, I figure like it's early, so go ahead and do my thing and get back and rest up. I feel myself draining, so I definitely know it was a little bit of a sinus infection that I was fighting. Which is why y'all ain't see me doing no vlogs a lot because I couldn't. My throat was so sore. Oh, it's nothing worse. Like, I can deal with a little bit of sick, but when that throat gets sore first, oh, baby, that's that indicator. You be like, what? So, yeah. So, I hope y'all having a good Sunday. You might get this vlog Sunday, probably Monday. Well, I don't know, child, because the way my own um, time and I'm tired set up, child, me and sleep. I be trying to catch them when I can, child. And you know I'm tired because I don't even use the word trying. And I just said it probably 50 times. But God is good. God is amazing. I hope y'all worshiping and praising him and grateful for the things that he has set forth before you today. I hope you're grateful for your family and things that are intact. And even if they seem out of whack. 